Now let's understand the pages directory we have on our Nuxt application. Yes, we know how to create the pages and we have some knowledge about this pages directory. But there are various things I need to tell you about this directory and how you can create the dynamic routes and some of the other things. So if I see firstly the first problem I can see is with this kind of font and that's again not related to Nuxt it's actually related to Vuetify. So in Vuetify whenever you are creating anything you first need to wrap everything inside vapp tag. So if I go to index and here we can see we have all these things and what I'm going to do I'm going to say vapp and this has to be vapp then the next part is here. So if I save this file and I go here there is some kind of changes yeah there is some margin here but still this toolbar is not affected this is because the toolbar is not inside this index so it's better to use this vapp directory not inside the pages but inside your layout so instead of this div I'm going to say vapp and also on the closing part which is already done so go here refresh this page and now you instantly you can see we have all the correct font system and the page is looking somewhat good than the previous part okay so let's talk about the dynamic routing so yes we can simply see whatever the page you create on your pages directory will become the route but what if you have a blog and then inside you have a various posts so I'm going to create a directory called blogs and inside that I'm going to create a file called blog.view and let's create scaffolding here I will create and I will say I am a blog post simple enough okay so let me move this inside h1 tag so h1 and yeah this is good so if i go here on the blogs we can't see anything because now we need to say blogs then blog so yes i am a blog post but obviously this blog is not has to be hard coded it can be anything like uh, learn next js somewhat this kind of uh, route we have for a blog or maybe that will be view js for everyone this kind of uh, route we can have but uh, we know to have every route we need to create a file so next provide you dynamic routing system so in dynamic routing system what you do instead of directly writing the name of the file you will start your file name with underscore so it will be like underscore and then blog there is some changes done refresh yeah so if i say blog yeah i'm getting the i am blog then i will say slash learn next js still i'm having the same page and what about anything else so i'm talking about anything yes so this means whatever you type here it doesn't matter it's just going to load underscore blog dot view file inside this blocks directory and that's very nice because now we can have the blog name or blog slug from the url so let's just see how this pattern is created so again i will go to dot next router dot js inside here we can see we have a path and this path states that slash blogs slash colon blog and question mark colon blog means this blog can be anything can be any string number or can be any url actually and question mark means it's not necessary to give this because so if i simply say localhost 3000 slash blogs still it's loading the same page because we have a dynamic routing and dynamic routing means yes it can be anything or it can be null 
so what if you want to have all the blocks and then underscore block dot view will give single block so you just need to create index dot view file and inside this oops here you will create a div inside h1 i will say all the blocks save this file go here refresh this page and this time we are having all the blocks i am on localhost colon 3000 slash blocks and now it says all the blocks but if i say slash anything it's giving the underscore blog dot view that means i am a blog post so let's see the routing for this so router.js it's already updated now this question mark is removed from this path it's saying okay if you don't have this that means this route or the path is a slash blocks then i will call this one so it's going to load the component this which is actually our index.view so if you don't have the index.view file then it will load the dynamic view file otherwise it will load the main file but the question arises still how we get this name or the slug of blog on our page so this thing we are going to see in the next episode and also what if i don't want to have number here or some kind of validation for that so we want to have some kind of validation for our dynamic routing so we will see these things in the next episode till then goodbye